Welcome everybody to another episode of the Lunch Table Podcast. Uh, and in this video, we're going to give you our review for The Exorcist Believer, now playing in theaters. We have quite a lot of thoughts to say about, sort of. It was kind of mid. Uh, there will be no spoilers in this, so rest assured. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit, I think I just heard my, my window crack. <laughs> I was trying to listen to things. <laughs> Shit. Um, uh, I'll be honest, I wasn't a big fan of this movie. I think I think I'm just not a huge fan of like possession movies in general. I don't know, something about it. Actually, I, I still enjoy the Pope's Exorcist for some reason. That's because I really love Russell Crowe's character. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Yeah. <laughs> um, but this movie, I mean. If you're a fan of The Exorcist, you probably enjoy it. But for me, I feel like it was too busy. Um, and I think having two possessions, I don't know. I think it didn't really add much in terms of like what they could push the idea of The Exorcist. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they brought back some legacy characters. I mean, we brought we brought uh, Ellen Burson back, but she was only there for like not a whole lot yeah the trailers um, duped us that was crazy yeah so it's it's like it's it's basically like scream now it's like they just bring back a few characters for like a few shots just to say oh yeah remember this character um we just threw it in there because you know for the fans but then other than that it's like she didn't do much mm. um they threw in a lot of jump scares and i think what made the first one work was it was kind of like there was a lot of tension and build up to yeah. to the scares and this one they just kind of like just throw it all at you all at once so it's not mm -hmm. really maybe that's perhaps why i have a problem with these newer horror movies now it's because they just give it all to you right they don't really let you like feast on it for a little bit you know what i mean mm -hmm. like they don't let you work your way into the scare it's kind of like they just give it to you all at once if, if that makes sense yeah and i think the um, the mute like the sound effects are really jaunting too with the pop-up scares here and there i i would i would have preferred honestly if you kind of do it a little bit like hereditary um there's other movies too or like the original exorcist movie where it's just they let you let your feelings stew in the suspense I, th I think that's more effective and more disturbing uh the two actresses are great um unfortunately the story mostly revolved uh, on like one of the daughters rather than the other one and that was a little weird to me i thought it would be a, more of a group effort if you will um but then again it's a lot to balance and and this type of movie especially if they kind of want to retcon all the movies before and then just have this it, it, it'll be a little too much as for the future i don't know where this might go um again bringing ellen burston back is it's whatever really um the the visuals some visuals were interesting i'm not gonna lie they're they're really disturbing um, but I think it doesn't have the same magic that the first one had. And of course, the first one is is super iconic because it almost won Best Picture. Um, you know, all the stuff that happened on set as well. Uh, the controversy, the way how the actress may ha actors may have been treated, you know. So all that came into play too. But I think as the film for the film for, you know, itself... Um, actually, you know what? The show, I think, is actually in a way kind of better <laughs> than the movie, this movie, um, because they kind of just jump. They just jump straight into they, they kind of forget about the past that it's like, OK, well, we got this new story and we're going to bring some character back. They would go to green. I honestly don't think he's the right guy to always bring, to revitalize franchises. I mean, Halloween is like whatever. I never I don't know. I know a lot of people are big fans of Halloween, but it's like it's honestly it's whatever you could just get a different director that, that's how i see it i mean halloween one was cool and i think 2018 halloween kills was all right it was kind of goofy but whatever mm. halloween ends was like ass so and i would get maybe like james wan or something or like one of the insidious directors cool. for, yeah for this movie it wouldn't fit you know for the tone yeah they should have they should have did something like that honestly that would make more sense i i just i don't know i i he had better luck in Halloween. I don't think he had so much luck in The Exorcist. And as you can see from the Rotten Tomato scores, it is pretty low. But I do recommend seeing this movie still because it is a sequel to Exorcist. We don't get many of those in theaters. And if you just want to have a 
a good laugh <laughs> that calls you this movie. <laughs> so funny enough, Exorcist movies make me laugh for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's always yeah. like the demon is like roasting, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, so yeah. stupid. Your you mother's know? a whore. Right? You're a low yeah, life. That's exactly what you're a piece they always of shit. like say. Some some stu- like it's always like the devil is like red pill or some shit, <laughs> and they just like have it's like like Tech Knight if he was a demon, he just says some like random shit about your mother or some shit. I don't know. I just get a, a kick out of him for some reason. I always yeah. like laugh when the when the demon person's talking oh my gosh um but yeah i I mean go see it for yourself see how you like it i mean it is part of a a great you know franchise i I always said like even though i wasn't big fan of the exorcist i think they're great staples in in horror and the horror genre um so go for your see it for yourself but i think other than that there wasn't too much i cared for i mean the characters were pretty forgettable for me um i did think uh the actresses who played the possessed uh were pretty good in their roles yeah um but i think just having two possessed didn't make sense for me um mm. so overall if i had to rate this movie, i'll probably give it maybe six out of ten how about you Akram? i also give it a four out of ten I'm not gonna lie i give it a four out of ten but it's one of those movies where you just see it for shits and i do recommend seeing this movie for shits and giggles and just to watch it get mm. it out out of, out of your um catalog of movies it's to a see. good appetizer for october let's just say that but it's not a it's not an entree <laughs> for sure well we're gonna serve you an entree right now with this outro dylan take us away i'm pretty hungry <laughs> i don't know what, the, what this entree it's the lunch shit. table dylan we got plenty of lunch here we got shit. plenty of content coming up i feel tricked and not treated right <laughs> yeah <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> but guys if you enjoy this video leave a like sub to the channel let us know what you thought of the movie if you have different opinions we'd love to hear them Uh, but we have plenty of content this month so stick around we have a lot of halloween themed episodes planned as well so hope you guys will stay around and enjoy our content but until then guys thanks for having lunch with us see you guys thanks for having lunch with us (laughs) fuck you fuck you guys unsub to the channel (laughs) 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 